Alright, welcome back. Last time, the ruler died a good bit earlier than I anticipated, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with about at least seven years of... Legitimacy lowering? Uh, this is gonna be fun. Also, I can't declare wars either, because Regency Council. At the very least, while I wait, uh, well, okay. Skills are also pretty terrible, so corruption is... Well... It's going to increase once the... Uh, well... Yeah, the power void starts to take effect. Yeah, for right now, though, it hasn't. Thankfully, I guess. My centralization has also managed to max out, so I'm not going to have many more improvements to things like tech cost or autonomy. At least not until something increases it again, which will probably be admin... Well, it used to be admin tech. Does that still do it? Where's the admin tech? Um... Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, admin tech does still increase it. Hmm. Ah, uh, 11640 rolls around. I'll probably grab a few economic ideas and try to grab a couple tax. Depends on how many NAM points I pick up. Same with the other two tax down here. I'll grab those as well. Okay, possibly professional ideas. Well, professional army ideas, as many as I can manage to grab without losing out on the tech. So I'd like to gain, still continue to gain that army tradition buff. Hmm, the alcohol tax disappeared again. Hmm, interesting. Something to keep an eye on, perhaps. Yeah, with infrastructure improving, um, there might be the potential for something else in the future. But for right now, uh, <laughs> this province is far too busy building massive quantities of harborage. Uh, probably best if I took some time and put a bit of effort into increasing the harborage. Air transport. Wait. I think I need to check. All my own parameters, okay. Ah, okay, so there's a river going through you. Up the you, uh, well, yeah. I don't see anywhere else, though. Okay. There's something going on here, too. Rivers. Let's 
these three provinces can handle river trouble. That's why those provinces look a bit quicker, probably. Or just gets it from Penit. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Because this, this province should at least have some, Okay, yeah, it's got a decent amount of residents. Well, well, Pathling is a peasant. No, not but It could be a peasant. Here it is. Oh, yeah, okay, definitely. I probably should take the time. To expand the reach of my investment programs. Yeah. The auto investor, I mean. Slot the problems again and actually build some pathing infrastructure. Yeah, I can save the harbor for later. I want to build pathing infrastructure. Rank 7. Four hundred fifty, no, 460 ducks. 48 units. It's actually not that. Oh, wait. That requires residence labor. Okay, I've got enough urban labor. <laughs> yeah, the province itself isn't exactly prosperous, so any labor is probably going to be, well, highly appreciated. Uh. My independent of rebels, shall I? Right, so when does this uh, expire again? 6th of January. Wait till the 7th. Right, now's the time to start. Oh, I can do reforms again. <laughs> no, no, that's a bad idea. Societal instability is a bad idea to try to deal with. Right, okay, so is there anything I can do? with these estates. I can provide tax relief, but it, it's a bit of a waste of loyalty at the moment. I'd rather wait a bit. Full grain revision. Or make sure to try to keep stability at plus one, because I want to keep that thing high. Anyway, so let's deal with the tech. That costs 242. So I should be able to do, yeah, at least two of professional army ideas. Possibly a third? No, probably not. No, nah, no room for that. Even if it would increase my innovativeness. I don't care enough about innovativeness for that to really help, so... Let's grab... let's read these. Veterancy. A career yields exposure. Exposure yields experience. Experience yields skill. And skill yields results. Army tradition from battles is doubled. The reserves. Unless you know everything, do not put everything on the line. Reinforce speed, plus five percent. Morale damage taken by reserves, minus five, well, reduce morale damage taken by reserves, plus five percent. And tech. Swivel cannons. Swivel cannons allowed artillery to react more quickly on the battlefield, making them much more useful. No tactics plus 0.5, artillery fire plus 0.5, enables leather guns, which you can't actually use, and the star port. Let's grab factional banking now as well. I'm not going to read that whole thing. I think I've done that often enough inside all of the, well, inside 2.52, so 
allows client states and advanced cast abilities. Trade efficiency plus 2% enables various ships, one of which is the frigate build ship, which I can in fact build. Alright, now for Advent Tech. Okay, so each costs 255. I want to get at least one, but I also want to grab these three ideas as well, if only to help prepare for the institution that is coming soon. It has most certainly not arrived yet, but it will arrive as soon as someone picks up Admin Tech 36. However, I am perfectly capable of producing it myself, so I don't really care as long as I don't burn too many points. So, let's just go down the rest of economic ideas. Yeah. And economic ideas are complete. So, managing expectations. As it turns out, many people are willing to loan us money if we actually make a decent effort at paying it back. How are we supposed to know that declaring bankruptcy every generation would scare creditors off? Interest per annum minus one. I mean, that's not very useful to me because I don't actually deal with loans, especially not in M&T, because interest rates tend to be, well, high. At least they used to be high. I remember six being the base, but now it's four, so it's actually not that bad. Targeted investment. Certain industries are of benefit to the state outside of their immediate economic value. But it is a confusing mess to try to identify which truly are, and which are run just by your advisor's nephews. Material costs for projects, men's 5%. Intangible property. If ownership of physical property begets investment in it, then perhaps invention itself is an enterprise in which one invests in. A noble prospect. A novel prospect, but one which might hold the key to a new age. Knowledge output plus 10%, global institutions credit plus 10%, and as a finisher bonus, institution embracement cut plus minus 5%. And those two effects are the reason why I wanted to grab those before um, preparing for the next institution. Right, rationalism. Urban production efficiency plus 1%. The next one will increase resource size by 2.5%, and I probably should grab that as soon as possible. And then the one after that um, is Tech Level 36, which provides an ideal group, but is also a requirement for the next institution. Which is pretty important. Because that tech penalty grows up to double. So, yes, extremely important that I grab it. Plus, it also reduces idea costs by 10%, so, yay. Although I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to grab that before I finish off Perpetual Army ideas. But, I might be able to grab another interesting idea group here. Although, I could grab just about anything I want. For the time being, I might grab a Deploy idea group simply because of the sheer quantity of those I have of Diplo points. I'm not using them for anything else. On the other hand, the more Diplo ideas I grab, the cheaper Diplotech becomes, and the easier it is for me to have a lot of leftover Diplo points. On the other hand, I'm already burning five more of that per year on taxes, so... Not really sure. Ah, great. Okay, there we go. Pretender Rebels. Perhaps they might actually be better than the... Uh, 154, that would be a... Hmm. Hmm, does it round up or down? Rounds down, probably. 242 would be 3, 4, 3. 154 would probably be 244, which would be about the same. That's at worst. At best, would be 344. I'm not where. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, that might take a bit to get back to. Yeah, that is the shortest road, though. So. Right, right. 
least our loan has the <laughs> largest the regional city model. Oh, I can't even select it. Well, I can still select these buttons, but I can't have over that. That is interesting. Uh, certain interfaces have been adjusted to the point where it might be difficult to see things. Still, a larger regional city is quite nice to have. Though I may need to add some stuff in order to ensure everything is uh, going as it's supposed to. <laughs> because, yeah. Fact is, there's... This stuff isn't properly set up. And yet everything else here is. So I may need to state it in order for it to work, but I don't feel like stating it until I can be sure that it's going to reduce an autonomy. Um, well, we're actually pretty close to that. Really close. Huh. Perhaps we need some better harborage, but beyond that, it's all perfectly fine. Huh. Well, at very least Olon is ready for that. The other provinces, not so much. However, the non-state, well, the fact that it's a territory increases it by 0.02, and currently um, it's above 100 by 0.206. Well, 0 0.20, 0 0.206. So, almost. If I can improve upon communication, probably by improving harborage further, not just up here, but also down here, although I think for the moment the focus is on pathing, yeah. Down here it's on harborage, but, well, that might take a while. Up here I can work on harborage, so let's actually do that. Build up infrastructure, and then once it's ready, go ahead and integrate as a state. So project, improve arborage, and do rank three. Jeez. <laughs> arborage has a lot of units associated to it, doesn't it? There's also the question of how much labor is available, which is two. So I can do at best four parallelism for this, okay. But it's not that much. Okay, that's four years. I just need to wait four years. Assuming that it gets all the labor it needs. I think I should stop here now. So, um, just a little revolt here, nothing to worry about. My main army's coming here to deal with it. Uh, the Regency Council is still going to last for at least a couple of years. Joy. At the very least, the nobility are now happy, more or less. They're probably going to take away familial appointments at some point soon, only to help with corruption. Well, there's also the fact that it raises, raises yearly legitimacy. So removing that now is a terrible idea, but not removing it... Hmm. Yeah, I don't like having to deal with that. Provincial corruption is at least going down. Stability is not doing great, but it's at least somewhat stable. I've also been investing into a lot of infrastructure projects, just like last time. For example, there's quite a bit of pathing constructed here, since this is the easiest way for me to get communication down to the Pacific coastline. There's only two provinces, one here and one here. So, that's better than, well, anywhere except for the Panama and Costa Rica area. And this is equivalent. Everywhere else is three provinces. If not more. And yet, one of these two provinces even has a... Never mind, I thought there was a bonus to commute to... A local trade bonus, but not actually here. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, so the Pacific Coast doesn't really have that much to it, at least none of the Mayan areas. Or even the areas where I happen to have a large quantity of influence, so. Oh well. 
dealing with. I'm also dealing with religious stuff too. Great. Um, I'm gonna have to. Probably gonna end up sending my army there. I have. Ooh, right. I forgot about this. Royal Absolutism. Stability cost interval minus 1%. Max centralization plus 5. Maximum resources size plus 2.5%. Ooh, this also gives a plus 5% maximum resources size. Okay, scientific journals is going to be really good to grab as soon as I can manage it. But I have hit ahead of time in all text. Excellent. I have grabbed two professional, well, three professional army ideas. Veterancy, the reserves, and combined arms. I've also grabbed the last three economic ideas, so that's complete. Uh, most of these aren't super duper useful except for the moment, except for increased knowledge output. But the reduced cost for projects is nice. And the institution buffs should come in useful once, well, the next institution comes along. Academia, which is going to take Adam and Tech 36. As well as legalism, scientific method, no unrest, and state reach at least 25% in that specific province. As well as academic districts. But, well, I just need to point towards my capital and press the A button to move away from the infrastructure. And point to the fact that my academic districts count is 635 almost? It's 634.641. So I think rounding up is applicable here. Yeah. I've also been moving around my merchants a bit because, well, I've remembered that if the target hates you enough, with negative 50, I think, being the threshold, although I'm not actually sure, um, the country is not willing to trade with you at all. However, I'm always at negative 25, so... Because they're not that focused on the different religion aspect. Or, well, enemy of enemy, so... Because we both hate Aragon and Slash War England. And, uh, I don't ha I can't have England as a rival at the moment. They've gotten too weak again. <laughs> it's so silly to say that. Bottom of the list, great power. <laughs> I mean, Aragon is beginning to catch up from the looks of it. Don't like. Did they pick up a new vassal? Hmm. I'm not actually sure. It doesn't look like it, but they might have gotten a lot of success in expeditions. I don't know. I've also expanded my investment to hit every province that has at least a chance of getting below 100%. Even in these bad conditions. So that's everything in the mainland except for this province right here, because it doesn't have harbors, so the communication is poor. Somehow this province is better. Well, okay, never mind. Somehow this province is better, but not by much. And the capital city of the um, Californian territory, so at least that's what I'm considering it as, Olone, is almost there, which is why I've gone ahead and put some time into investing in the harbor infrastructure, and I'll probably end up doing a couple, a rank or two in capital infrastructure in order to help with communication there. I mean, I'm also considering doing one in Chico as well, simply to even further help, because communication here is at 54%, so that could certainly be improved, especially considering on this side it's 81%. But these mountains are no joke. Communicating across them is difficult. Uh, yeah, so it's basically just tech and ideas and a little bit of uh, concessions to the nobility. As well as trying my best to keep this country from falling apart too, too much from the Regency Council having awful legitimacy. Uh, minus two is terrible. As well as trying to juggle the stability because the uh, recent reforms modifier for stability is still around, and it's going to stick around for another four years. 
I've also maxed out in centralization, at least up until I grabbed that admin tech. It's gonna take a bit for it to actually appear, but the max is now 75. So that should also help out with autonomy after a short while. It is only increasing it by 0.28 per year, but still. I'm honestly a bit surprised the tribes are still around. Oh well. Make them a bit happier. Right, that should be good. Anyway. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.